What's up guys, Team Snaggum Was here. For today's video, I'll be going over the top 10 Pokemon I would love to ride in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. That's what she said. Before we get started, smack the like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment on a Pokemon you'd love to ride in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Now let's get to the top 10. Number 10. Arcanine. It's already been confirmed that you can ride an Arcanine, so that's why this is a little lower in the list, but still pretty freaking awesome, as Arcanine is one of my favorite Pokemon. It looks cute, but still looks dope as hell. Number 9. Charizard. The same thing here as Arcanine. Charmander is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, as I have probably about 10 plushies. <laughs> and to have the ability to ride its final evolution is pretty amazing. And I can't wait to start playing Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee just so I can ride my freaking boy around. Number 8. Pidgeot. After seeing Ash fly on Pidgeot multiple times, this just makes total sense to me. Pidgeot is also one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, maybe because as a kid, I always evolved my lovely Route 1 Pidgey into one, and it carried me through the Elite Four. Number 7. Onix. Sadly for Onix, the fact it has lower base attack than Oddish makes riding this Pokemon the only thing I want to do with it. Onyx is a Pokemon that deserves a crazy amount of buffing, but it'll probably never get one. Steelix is a little bit better, but I mean, compared to other Steel types, it's still not the best. Number 6 Rapidash. Riding a horse that's on fire? Um, why the heck not? That sounds freaking badass. Plus, the whole it not burning its partner while riding is such a cool concept, and I can't wait to see it in action. Number 5 Lapras. After the Sun and Moon games, where we ride Lapras, this dropped lower, but it's something I can't wait to say, see in HD, so I felt like I needed to include this. Number 4 Tauros The same thing that happened to Lapras here happened to Tauros as well. Tauros is a cool Pokemon, and I can't wait to start riding it again like we did in Sun and Moon. Number 3 Aerodactyl If you like the Jurassic Park series, then for years you dreamed about riding a dinosaur. The good news? It's a good chance this dream will come true, and I can't wait to see Aerodactyl soaring through the Candle region, just like I imagined in my childhood. Number 2 Legendary Bird Trio For number 2, I decided to group these birds together as they would all be amazing to fly around on. This is what little 4 year old me imagined when playing through Pokemon Red, and I'm happy 20 years later, I might not have to imagine anymore. And to me, that's worth the number 2 slot. But, it wasn't worth the number 1 slot. Number 1. Gyarados. The only reason why I put Gyarados at number 1 over the legendary birds is the potential gimmick it might have. As we all know, Gyarados is a water flying type Pokemon. Now of course, it can't learn fly, but it is big enough to ride on, and the f fact that it is a flying type, it could potentially fly through the air on land, while also using its water typing to surf through the oceans. Gyarados is a Pokemon that we might have the ability to, ability to soar and surf on in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and it would be amazing to see how that could transition in the game going from soaring straight into surfing. Well there we have it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below your top 10, and while you're there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. I look forward to hearing from all of you.
Peace out.